Okay, we're here on the set right now where the whole incident happened. This is Larry Goldsmith from uh, CNN News interviewing Hector Garcia, who has in the past known this individual that was abducted by the aliens. Do you have anything to say about this individual throughout the years? I mean, really, growing up as kids, you know, he was really the only one that would, like, sit out and think about space and, you know, while everybody else was doing other things, you know, having fun, you know, doing kid stuff. But, you know, every time we got that time alone between just me and him, you know, he would always ask me about space, like, hey, man, you know, you want, don't you wonder, you know, what space is like and what, what other, you know, what other things really could be out there, if, you know, life, and, you know, pretty much just stuff like so that. So alien, aliens were uh, a big part of his lifestyle. Would you say that that's appropriate? Yeah, I guess you could say that. He was always fascinated by that concept? Yeah, he was, very much. Now, was he a loner? Like, did you find him to be, like, lost in the, the atmosphere at all times? Like, he didn't want to come out and participate with events and other things such as yeah, that? Yeah, he was more interested in, you know, finding out, you know, stuff about space, you know, out of, um, Keep going. I can edit it out. You know, he was really more like the guy that was more interested in, you know, studying and, you know, he he just wanted he just wanted to see what life was like outside outside of Earth. You know what I mean? That's pretty much. So do you think that, uh, as sad as it may be, it's suited for him to be abducted by aliens? You think he would have wanted wanted to go out that way? Maybe. Would have liked it, you know. I mean, don't know really, you know, if he could have communicated in the right way with the aliens. If, you know, now that he got abducted, but you know, he he would have probably had it. You know, he he has a chance to really understand what alien life is like, and you know, really, hopefully they they can answer the questions he was looking for. You know, and hopefully if if he comes back, he come back safely. Okay, yeah, well, that, that is the goal. We hope that he can make it back. If not, his legacy will live through his uh, miraculous uh, video cassette diary that uh, was left behind the scene. Thank you very much today, Hector Garcia. All right, thank you. Well, this is Larry Goldsmith from CNN News. This is the final resting place of uh, Roger Flores and his brother, Alfonso Flores. Signing out. The most miraculous alien footage ever caught will air immediately after this introduction. Thank you. Good night.